My friend's group was ruined because of a kiss. I'm going to make this as long and as detailed as I can so forgive me for any miscommunication. I'm not looking for any opinions on if I'm an ah even if you do that's okay but I just need to get this off my chest. I was a part of a friend group, it was the four of us Warren, Stacy, and Timmy. We were all the best of friends we've known since elementary school and recently an incident happened that destroyed our friendship for good. A few months ago Warren, Stacy, and myself were at the mall, we went around to the back of the store to gossip which ended with us playing truth or dare. Now we were doing light dares that weren't that bad until it got to a dare where Warren and Stacy had to make out. I was against this saying friends making out usually leads to the end of friendships. However Warren and Stacy made out anyway, I was totally weirded out because I just saw my friends make out. It was so gross I wanted to vomit but I just looked at them in a crazed expression. A few months go by and me and Warren are having lunch and he confesses that Stacy and himself had been talking and feelings were confessed. This surprised me because I thought this whole thing was past tense but I was mistaken. I told Warren that if he and Stacy choose to go forward into a relationship that I support them. Here comes the issue, Warren had started coming to me saying things were wrong with him and Stacy. I was shown messages of them communicating and Stacy was explaining how they had feelings for Warren but they didn't know if he felt the same. Warren said he didn't know what to do because he liked Stacy but there were issues with them. More months go by and I'm starting to see the full view of what's going on. I got both of them alone so I could see the issue and after hearing that Stacy had basically ghosted Warren I started communicating with Warren more. I did start getting frustrated with Stacy because Warren was trying to make the best of what they had and communicate but Stacy wasn't answering him. I told Warren to tell Stacy that ignoring him isn't the solution but he was afraid of being seen as the bad guy and didn't want to hurt Stacy's feelings. Eventually Warren let me step in and tell Stacy off for their behavior on the matter. I call them in a shoal and a jerk and that they need to do their part in fixing the issue because Warren is hurt and doesn't want to tell them how he feels in fear of hurting their feelings. Stacy ignored me as well and then today was the final straw. By this time Warren was already having relations with an ex so Stacy was already out of the picture stating the fact that they ghosted Warren for a few months and showed zero interest in speaking to him. We went to the mall and he was thinking if he should block Stacy for good or give them another chance to message them. Long story short Warren blocked Stacy on all social media platforms and after he felt like a weight had lifted off his shoulder but also felt down for blocking them. After coming home from the mall I couldn't take it anymore and basically messaged them this. Stacy, you have every right to ignore me but I'm not sticking around for it. If you hate me for calling you out on your BS I can easily cut you off like Warren did. I have no issue with that. Then I blocked them only on Snapchat because I did want to cool down and text them on Instagram later on but what I had seen a little later was that they had posted on their story calling me and Warren emotionally abusive, narcissistic, self-centered, and gaslighters. After that I knew that the only thing they cared about was victimizing themselves. I immediately blocked them on everything and went and showed Warren what Stacy had posted. We had told Timmy everything that had happened and luckily him and a lot of other people were on our side. But basically our entire friendship is over because of a stupid kiss and I wish I could. Go back in time and stop it but the damage is done and we have agreed we don't want to see Stacy for a very long time. I feel nauseous and frustrated. I hope that our friendship wouldn't end but after everything that has happened I don't know if things can ever go back to normal.